Do you think that the employment of being a developer is under threat currently because you have all those AI tools that can code on your behalf? Yes. So if you've ever tried to code anything from scratch using nothing but chat GPT, you'll, you'll soon realize that it, it doesn't quite work. You, and you can't just push a button and mm -hmm. out comes this multi-million dollar software as a service application, right? Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Now, in terms of chat GPT, there is, I mean, anyone who's doing any kind of knowledge work, there is a certain level of I don't want to, you know, existential doom, I guess, that everyone has. But like, I don't think it's not this so that that um, uh, that bad. Be but here's what I think is going to happen. The quality of everything is going to go up. OK, go up. OK, yeah, yeah. The quality. So the quality mm -hmm. of the tutorials are going to go up. They're going to be more effective. And essentially, it's going to take the same amount of hours, like human hours to produce. So I, I, I just think the quality of everything is going to go up. Okay. To a certain extent, ChatGPT is solving yesterday's problems, not okay. tomorrow's problems. Mm -hmm. um, but having said that, you know, I, I definitely find myself going into ChatGPT much more than I do with Google. So in that particular instance, I could see Google's, you know, um, uh, uh, percentage uh, go down a bit, whereas I'm spending more time in chat GPT. And I'm sure some okay. of our students spend time in chat GPT as well. But the point is, is that, you know, you ha if you're going to be in e-learning and, and education, you have to find another reason for mm -hmm. people to take your course. And that can yeah. be a community, like a community can be way better than chat GPT. You know, you can have like uh, these projects. And a lot of what we do is we try to find what the biggest trend of mm -hmm. what's going on and then put that into a project so you can immediately use that in your in your uh, uh, resume or portfolio or your job interview or uh, not a job interview, but like your performance review. Yeah. And if you use your performance review, chances are you'll probably get that promotion or someone who didn't do that stuff in there in the last quarter or whatever. Got it. Got it. Uh, so you think that the uh, tech uh, or like the, like the uh, the job description of being a programmer is here to stay, but it's going to transform. It's going to change it a little bit over time. That's that's what you foresee. Absolutely. And I guess one side note to that is that tech did kind of overhire in the last three years. So yes. all the layoffs are probably more cyclical uh, rather okay. than, um, you know, demand wise. Uh, the other thing, the biggest and most bearish thing for tech and mm -hmm. coder specifically is a reduction in architecture complexity. Right. Okay. So if sites want to look like Craigslist or, you know, like if the, the, if, if that's what people want to do, mm -hmm. then that's a big problem. But I don't see that happening as technology gets more complex. It requires more people to maintain it. Oftentimes. Absolutely. But maybe the set of skills is going to change and it'll be uh, AI is going to play a big part in that, I would guess, like AI being AI. Uh, um, how can I say like uh, understanding how AI works and how to leverage AI and all these new emerging fields like prompt engineering and all that, I think are going to be skills highly in demand in the near future. I'm glad you brought up prompt engineering because it's now a whole new field. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if we go back to, I don't know, maybe 30 years ago, uh, Photoshop wasn't really a thing, right? Like yeah. I think Photoshop came out, like I can't remember when, but, uh, but before there was, if you if you wanted to do something on the computer, you had to become a graphic designer. And that wasn't a role, right? Like a computer graphic designer. Uh, it was a role without computers. But now that person interfacing with the graphic design on the computer was now a new job, mm -hmm. right? The same thing is happening with prompt engineering. I can tell you that when I'm doing prompts and when I'm doing like blog posts or social media posts with in chat GPT, the prompt really matters, right? And it's in it. And I spend a lot of time trying to craft these prompts. And then also yeah. companies are really interested in having us teach them how to do that. Because like, you know, you can just like throw up any kind of words onto chat GPT and it's going to give you, you know, a, a, a kind of a, a half, a, you know, not, not a very good response, right? Yeah. But if you really craft your prompts and that's going to be a whole person's job in the future, right? So oftentimes with these new technologies, yes, some other jobs might not be around, but there's always new ones. And that's yes. also why you have to constantly train and constantly evolve your skills. Because, you know, before, like two years ago, prompt engineer was not really a word. Now it is. And if you say that you're a prompt engineer and, you know, you have a really good portfolio, then you might get hired as one. Yes, yes, absolutely. I think with all those 
AI tools like ChatGPT, the quality of the output is as good as the quality of the input. So, so you know, it's a it's a very promising, I think, sector that is currently booming. I guess prompt engineering. Do you have to be a like a programmer to become a prompt engineer, or you know, anyone can become a prompt engineer? Yeah. So what's interesting? It depends what you're doing with it first. Now, okay. surprisingly, people that have really good command of languages mm -hmm. uh, are really good. So like an English degree, like if I were to, okay. this, this is just a, a side, but yeah. if I, I would always hire the top 1% of any field. It doesn't matter what, what you studied for, but like people who have a really good command, uh, like, uh, in, um, in logic and, mm -hmm. uh, language. So like maybe a philosophy degree or an English degree might actually be amazing prompt engineers. So wow, interesting. if you, if you studied that in school, mm -hmm. now's your chance to basically, uh, get a whole new skill set to, for yourself. Okay.